All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the second episode of Spice and Wolf. Um, obviously, this will be the first episode of it on my channel. I wasn't actually, a, well, I, I didn't actually think I was going to react to it this season. It wasn't really on my radar. Um, basically, I haven't watched the original um, from like what was it, 2006? Um, under, from what I understand, this is a remake, kind of like the Fruits Basket uh, series. Um, from kind of the early 2000s. I haven't really watched many early 2000s uh, anime. So uh, yeah, I haven't seen this before. Obviously, I've seen it here and there during my life of watching anime. Um, but yeah, uh, the first episode was really good. We were introduced to uh, Hollow and Craft. Craft. Um, Hollow is a kind of wolf uh, creature, kind of some kind of mythical wolf creature. Um, which was basically, up until this point, being blessed in the lands uh, for this kind of village. Um, bringing like prosperity, good wheat, good kind of yield, good farming, that kind of thing. But uh, now they're at the point where the village doesn't really need the help of this mythical creature that they're, that they're not even aware that actually exists um, up until this point. So for that reason, Hollow has decided she wants to leave, uh, along with Craft. Um, and yeah, it just seems like a really nice little story so far. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Obviously, the original anime was very popular. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this story. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Obviously, I haven't watched the original as well. Can someone let me know if the if it's the same voice actors or not? I mean, it's been like near 20 years, so maybe not, but just let me know. <laughs> it is a nice tail. Looks very comfy. Catch various lies. Interesting. <laughs> She's so prideful. Oh, that's helpful. This is my wife. What oh, is this? Like a church? Like a big churchy place? I don't know what they're called. It's on the tip of my cotton tongue. Covenants? I don't know. Yeah, just butt ass naked. She does, she does not care. <laughs> I, I can I can definitely see a lot of teasing in the future. That's cool. Hang it around my neck? Oh, okay. Yeah, you sniffing me? Yeah. <laughs> Beard? Ain't much of it. Not that I can talk. Is she like legs spread wide open? This wolf man. <laughs> Hiding my banned face from the public. Is there no way she can like change her, like the, the parts of her form, like her ears or whatever? So they can be hidden in public? Okay. Makes sense to me. A vineyard. So goods for goods instead of goods for money. <laughs> She's not enough. Seems like a very peaceful world. What's he talking about? Oh, I get it. Yeah. This guy seems a little bit suspicious. Zeren. I feel like this thing that where she said she can like recognize lies is coming into play here. This guy seems like a scam artist. <laughs> wow. I love her confidence. <laughs> oh, he's got a proposition? Okay. Ooh, what is that? 
goat cheese over boiled potatoes. <laughs> Honestly, as simple as that is, it probably tastes nice. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> you got a little bit of salt on those, right? That'd be really nice. As far as the, the seasoning they have access to. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah so where are you getting the money from? She's a little bit feral, but she's cute. You and throats are so narrow. <laughs> no, potatoes are the best. She keeps choking, lol. Oh, really? Wow. Wait, how old is she? Oh, again, then again, she was, she was talked about in previous generations, wasn't she? So she looks probably quite old. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Uh, it sounds like a scam, though. But then, yeah, if, if he's saying a share after making a big profit. Interesting. <laughs> Is she gonna keep saying this? I wanna see her wolf form. Is this her way is this her way of uh making him money or getting him money? Without actually literally giving him money. Oh well she must be hella old then. Oh, what, well, she was speaking to a priest? Interesting. <laughs> She's funny. Oh, that's interesting. How religion changes over the over the decades or the centuries. <laughs> yeah, being loud as hell in the courtyard. Oh, he's actually in. Okay. What is this guy's angle? <laughs> That's an interesting way to look at it. Well, they both have their own perspectives. She's technically right, though. Yeah. <laughs> Being rude. Eat their heads and gain their power. Wow. Eight times? Oh my god. I'm surprised Bro doesn't have any scars on them. Damn. Bro's actually got some trauma from the ship. Yeah, he's lost people. Oh, damn. Fair enough. Boundaries. Oh, so he's saying that she's fought humans before? Oh, I'm glad they broke through the tension. Right, so that was Spice and Wolf episode two. Uh, very good episode there. It's very cute. Um, I like the relationship between these two already. Um, it was interesting there, them kind of understanding each other's perspectives about each other's people or race or how do you, species, species, that's it. Um, yeah, obviously how he has trauma with uh, wolves, but she's also, considering she, how long she's been alive, would of course have some kind of trauma with humans in the past as well. Um, yeah, I guess her way of making him money or paying for his like, the food he gets her and like the where they're staying and stuff like that is kind of 
not directly giving him money, but more so earning him money through these kind of deals where you know, she can tell her people are lying or that kind of thing. So yeah, I guess that does help um, having her around like that. She's very, uh, she's a fun companion and uh, he definitely won't be lonely anytime soon. Um, but yeah, very good second episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.